Hi, this is my Thursday verse. My name is Peter, and my memory verse is taken from the King James Bible, Romans 8, 28. And we know that all things work together for good, to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. This verse reminds me that no matter what direction my life goes in, God is always there. The steps of a good man, it says, are ordered by the Lord. If we break the verse down, we can see what it means. First of all, and we know. The first question should be, how do we know? If we are in Christ, then God the Holy Spirit awakens our spirit to the truth of who God is. We become, if you like, God conscious. That is how we know. And we know that all things work together for good. Good or bad things that happen to us or around us are ordained by God. It's not always clear why or how, but there it is. His purpose is always to help us grow. And he's places situations in our lives that we might learn to love and trust in him. He has a plan for each of our lives and we're all part of a bigger plan to save the world to them that love god this is one area we forget god is spirit and we're called to worship him in spirit and in truth john 4 woman at the well we cannot just say we love him and continue to live in the same old fashion we always have with our lives and attitudes never changing Unless we love God, this verse cannot apply. We must be born of water, natural birth, and born of the spirit, spiritual birth, born again. If I had remained the same self-serving person I used to be, I would have to question if I was indeed born again. Do I need to repent? God calls us. He calls us into communion with himself, to have a relationship with him. His love is a two-way thing. We love God because he first loved us and gave his son for us, that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us and then rose again three days later, according to the scriptures, to give us eternal life. He calls us but we must answer that call. Open the door and let him in. The door handle is always on our side, remember. Only we can open it and let him in. The last part is called according to his purpose. Each of us has a purpose to fulfill in the lifetime that God gives us to live in this world. Just as every blade of grass, every leaf upon a tree, every creepy thing that lives under the ground, Every drop of rain that falls in the sky, all are made and purposed by God. Nothing is wasted. We are worth more than many sparrows, the word says. So whatever you are going through, put your trust in him and his word. Rely upon him to give you what you need in every circumstance and situation in life. Faith is key and keep it in step with the Holy Spirit. We have a purpose to fulfill. It's not about our wants or desires. It's about the worship of a holy God who made us for his pleasure. I just want to serve my God. I don't know about you. I want to worship him with all my heart and all my mind and all my soul and all my strength and love my neighbour as myself. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me and you can do the same. Bless you. I hope this verse helps you this day. God bless. Amen.